And finally tonight, a living legacy. Professor Randy Pausch stirred people to change their lives, millions of people, in his famous last lecture, which was sent person to person around the globe. Well, today, his son decided to take up his dad's mission fighting pancreatic cancer. It is the fourth leading cause of cancer death and the disease that took his dad. So many people are dying of pancreatic cancer and the survival rates are so low. If we keep studying, we might be able to change that. Eight-year-old Dylan Pausch, his father's son, learning to take a cause to Congress and how you carry on for a dad whose brain and bravery were magic. If you had one last lecture to give before you died, what would it be? Randy Pausch, the Carnegie Mellon professor whose last lecture was seen by 10 million people. He challenged his students and everyone else to be strong for their dreams. The brick walls are there for a reason. They're there to stop the other people. The father of three had just found out he had pancreatic cancer, months to live. His message, why not really live? We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. And laugh. <laughs> and let go of fear. Anybody who is out there who is a parent, if your kids want to paint their bedroom, as a favor to me, let them do it. Okay, it'll be okay. Don't worry about resale value on the house. <laughs> Dylan was the oldest. Logan the middle, Chloe the youngest. Where do you come up with all these great stories? In your, in your head? Are you using your imagination? So it really isn't real. In his final months, their dad would walk the halls of Congress. Hi, I'm Randy Pausch. Urging more and more creative funding for pancreatic cancer research. I'm here to put a human face on the disease. Thank you. And today, for the first time, Dylan, with his mother, Jay, added his steps to his father's, his That's voice to his father's voice. Um, will you please co-sponsor the pancreatic cancer bills? In his book of the last lecture, Randy writes, my dreams for my kids are very exact. I want them to find their own path to fulfillment. The really strong emotions for me are, they won't have me for them. And, uh, that's where it's okay for me to say that's not fair. It's been two years now since Randy Pausch died. I think it's wonderful for him to see that individually we have a power as an American to make a difference. And I think that this helps them say, wow, I, I can do something. Maybe I can't bring my dad back to life, but I can help other people.